there will be times when you go into perfect resize that a specific size that you may be looking for doesn't exist already. Luckily, you can customize your experience here in Resize and create your own sizes that you can use over and over again. Once you have your image open, on the right-hand side in the Document Size pane, you'll want to jump up to the Preset drop-down menu. When you open this up, you have a whole different set of categories, and these are different sizes that you can choose. Let's say I want to crop this image down to a specific paper size. I can scroll down to the Paper section, and it will show me all of the different options. Now, if for some reason, the size you're looking for doesn't exist in this menu. Let's say that I have a piece of paper that is 32 by 40. That option is not in here, so I'll need to create my own size. I'm going to scroll down to the Custom option at the bottom of this menu. I don't have any custom sizes yet, so I'll need to manage my custom sizes. We'll click on that option, and it'll open up this dialog box. This is where we add our own size. On the bottom left-hand corner, click the Add button. It's going to pull a width and height from the document that you already have open. Don't worry, we'll be able to change that in just a moment. The first thing we need to do is type in a new name. So I'll just double-click Untitled, and I want to print it at 32 by 40, so I'll type in 32x40. Then I'll be able to remember what size I'm going to be selecting. Then for the width and the height, I'll just double click on that option and we'll type in a new number. The width will be 40 and I'll double click on the height. That will be 32. Now the last option over on the right hand side is units. Right now it's set to inches. That's what I typically use when I'm printing out my photos, but just in case you don't use inches, you can click on the inches option and it will open up this drop down menu. You'll see if I live somewhere else and I'd like to use centimeters instead, I can go ahead and choose that option. But for now, I'll leave it at inches. While you're in the custom document size pane, you can add multiple different sizes all at once. If I know that I'm also going to be printing at a 32 by 32 inch square, I can click the Add button one more time and I can create another preset very quickly. We'll just type in our 32 and our 32, and now I have two brand new sizes. Just in case you need to remove one, you can select it and go down to the bottom and click Remove. And then you can also duplicate a size, which can be extremely useful if you only need to go up by a half an inch or down a half an inch, just by selecting that option and clicking Duplicate. Now, if I want to, I could type in 40.5 and 32.5. Then I'll have two different options depending on how many margins I'll need around the edges of my print. When I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and delete that copy real quick. And then once I'm finished, I'll click OK. Now when you're ready to apply your custom print size, just go back over to the Document Size pane in the Preset drop-down menu, scroll back down to Custom, and right up at the top will be your brand new size. When I select 32 by 40, it will place a crop box around my image because I'll have to crop down the sides a bit. You'll see my width and my height in the document size pane has automatically been readjusted, so the only thing I need to do is click and drag my crop box into place and apply my adjustment. 